I wanted to ask you, though, what has been uh, the biggest challenge for you as far as, like, your, your fun time, your relaxed time? Like, I heard you talk about kite surfing. Like, how do you decide when you just want to go kite surfing for a day? Like, mm-hmm. is that just if you don't have anything going on? Or, or do you set aside mm-hmm. time? Or what do you do? Well, like right now I've got options, right? Because like I've been doing this for 20 years and I built my business up to the point where like I know how the game works. I've got my clients, uh, you know, built up me and my assistant. We've been working together for eight years. We've closed, I've closed a hundred deals a year ever since I've had her for eight years straight. And so we know each other front and back in terms of business, how to, how to do the transaction, what the process is, like what her role is, what my role is. So we have this down to a fine tooth, like all the way down as far as you can get it in terms of a very simple system. And so like, you're not there yet. Right. And so like when you're in the building your business phase, trying to like figure things out, um, we go out there and build your business and and create those systems and see what works for you and see what doesn't work for you and stuff like that. There really is no fun time. You know what I mean? Like when I was like, when I was coming up in the business, bro, I was working 15 hours a day for 15 years until I figured this thing out. And like, there were moments that, I would go through phases where I didn't even work out. I didn't even go to the gym at all because I was just so focused on my business. I wanted every waking hour to be building my business. And then I would get yeah. to a I would get to a good place in my business and I would start working out again. And then right. I would hit another place of growth where it's like, wow, here's this opportunity. I got to go get this. And I would go through the same thing. I would do nothing but work um, every waking hour until I got to another good place. And it's like you hop from place to place, like you hop from, you know, successful, let's just call it like a stone in the water. You kind of like hop from one to the other, um, you know, through life, um, you know, based on kind of what gets you excited because like people get in the business, they're super excited about real estate, you know, and then once they, you know, put a good five or 10 years in and figure that thing out, they kind of get like a little complacent and stuff. And at that point you either ride life out right there or you find something else to pour fuel on that fire again to get you excited with that next thing. Like there's always another thing. There's always another level. There's always something else out there that you could be doing to take your business and take your life to another level. It's just where's your ambition level? You know what I mean? Some people don't have the ambition to actually go to that next stone. So to answer your question, man, like when you're when you're building your business and stuff, like for me, there was no fun time. There wasn't yeah, no downtime. There's no, there's no kite surf and there's no nothing. No, nah, but like, but when I was coming up though, I would take about a week. I would do like a week long vacation towards the end of the year every year. I would yeah. try to like hang out on Sundays kind of thing. But like I was working Monday through Saturday every day, all day long. And Sundays, a lot of Sundays I would be showing property and doing open houses and stuff. So I don't know, man. Yeah, like, yeah, it, like it just know, depends on what I'm, kind of I'm business 20. you want. Right. You know, and I'm like, I'm 21. I just turned 21 years old, man. So it's like, you know, they go, all my buddies are like, yo, let's go do this. Let's go do that. And I'm like, well, hey, I'm trying to do this new thing now. So, and I've been good about it, but it's like, you know, I want, I want to do something with the, like, I don't want to just be like, never see my friends again, you know, type thing. Like, I'm just, I'm worried about that, which is, you know, I, I don't want to be worried about getting busy or anything, but you know, it's just. Sometimes you have to say goodbye to your friends, bro. Yeah. I mean, sometimes like, like, I don't, like, I don't know you, I don't know what's going on, you know, I don't know what your situation is, but like, if you want to do like big things, you can't like have both, you know what I mean? Like you've either got to commit and your life has to be this for the next five or 10 years, or you just dabble in this and you go party, you have friends, you do all that stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Right. For me, it's like, yeah. And so like what I did is I just switched my friends. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I, I went from like, you know, like look at your friends, okay? And whoever your friends are and wherever they are in life in terms of business and success, that's where you're going to be as long as you're hanging out with them.